All right, hey everyone, Waterbot here, and welcome to... Why is there... Okay, good. There's not supposed to be a big blue square on the screen. That That's that's just my recording program. Don't worry about it. Anywho, uh, so welcome to Out There Omega, The Alliance. This is one of those games that I actually have owned for almost the entirety of my YouTube channel. And for whatever reason, just never got around to recording it. It just didn't... It just didn't work. I'm gonna turn this down a little. Uh, let's see. Let's not skip the... Oh, I see. Let's not skip the travel animation. Cool. Uh, so this is one of those games that I've always wanted to cover. I got a copy of it. It was like one of the first press copies I ever got. But I was never able to record it. It was bad timing, bad whatevering. I don't even know. And so I was talking to uh, Dmart, uh, David, uh, at a YouTube mixer. He's... I uh, guess kind of the head PR guy for Raw Fury, and he's like, yeah, we're publishing this. You got you interested? And I'm like, it's not usually my wheelhouse, but I've got this, like, karmic guilt of not covering this game. So now that I'm here, now that now that it's coming out on the Switch as out there Omega Edition The Alliance, which I don't, I don't actually know what The Alliance really does. It looks like we've got aliens? Well, I mean, I always knew there were going to be aliens in it, but uh, I figured let, let's wash away a little bit of the karmic guilt and give this a go. So hello... Uh, let's see, so we can switch ships. First screen objective. Yeah, red ending. Interesting. Okay, so I pretty much can't change a dang thing here. Uh, let's see, so I can change this onto easy. Let's do normal. Find your own ships that were lost in previous game sessions. That's cool. When you leave a solar system, its star collapses and becomes a black hole. Spooky. Let's not do any of those things. I'm going to keep it on normal. We'll see how this goes. I'm an astronaut aboard the Nomad. Passenger on a line that connects Earth to Ganymede, the moon of Jupiter. Until something happened. When I awoke from cryonics... I wasn't in orbit around Ganymede. In fact, I wasn't even in the solar system anymore. Unbelievable. I see an unknown space station. Is it of alien origin? Hey, find help out. Uh, help there. Alright, so space station. Cost some fuel. Cost some oxygen to get there. Interesting. Reactor's out of order. Should have a look at the engines. They seem to be down. I shudder to think of what could happen if I can't fix them. Tap the ship tab to display the ship management screen. Well, there's quite a lot of work to do. Tap the Interplanetary Propulsion Module to display its options panel. And repair. Yes, everything seems to be in working order. Let's take some time to fill the tank now. Back and drop hydrogen onto the fuel slot in the maintenance zone. Okay, A, A... Oh, I see, all the way over here. I'm playing this on the Switch, which is going to be kind of interesting. You'd think there would be more of a snap or like a quick use. But whatever, fuel tank is now full. Same way you can max... Up your air recycling efficiency with a supply of oxygen. Iron can also be used to repair the hull of the ship. Go back to the star, star map system. Ship's ready to fly again. Uh, at least I can reach this mysterious station. Tap orbit. Nobody there. There is, however, this alien cube. A subliminal message engraves in me words so strange I have feelings and sensations. I did not know until now. Points me to a star. Does it mean I have to go there? I see the schematics of a new equipment, the space folder. You have learned a new technology, space folder. Tap the system map to return to navigation. This technology will ena enable me to travel between the stars. I'm going to try and build it with the remaining resources. Tap the free slot. Okay, space folder. Raft. 
Uh, close this window to go back to the ship view. I think I could dismantle the Chronix module and gather some silicon. I can travel faster between the stars. It won't be of any use anyway. Okay. Dismantle. It always takes me a, a while to get used to uh, the switch button placements because it's reversed from every... Well, I guess, honestly, I just use Xbox controllers all the time, so it's kind of odd. Anyway, silicon's been placed in the free slot. That free slot... Make the space folder. It's working. I can't believe it. Now I'll be able to jump from star to star. The entire galaxy is within my reach. And back to the galaxy map. Okay. So the star map allows you to travel between star systems. The green circle marks the range of the space folder. The blue circle marks the far reach of the telescope. Select a star to learn more about it. Okay. Select travel to make your first interstellar journey. Let's hope you'll find your way back to Earth. Let's see which is... Neither of these are particularly exciting, so let's just go to this one. At least I can skip that. Space unfolds, and I'm no longer in space. I'm inside a giant structure, huge dark, or huge dark spaces and long tunnels, made of nothing, and yet clearly something. This kind of construction could explain the mysterious dark matter that our scientists are still trying to understand. I wander it aimlessly until I find a curious light. It blinks yellow and blue. Nearby, three large tunnels full of colored crystals yawn open invitingly. We'll take the yellow tunnel? I fly through the yellow opening. The tunnel grows wider and it forks over and over. I can't believe I even passed the beacon in, uh, and I believe I even passed the beacon at one point. Last, after so many million miles underground, I finally see stars and planets. I'm free again, in space. I've lost fuel. Well, but we do have Planet, gas giant, and rich in fuel, dangerous atmosphere, fuel, and ore. Well, let's check them all out. And land, I guess. Okay, so we can drill... for maximum fuel? I don't know why it's red. Let's go five fuel. Advance for all. Oh, it costs five fuel. Okay, so it looks like I can just grab resources. Oh, but you run out quick. Okay, so let's go to the gas giant. Risky orbit. Let's probe. Let's see, R. So we got hydrogen. No, I wanna, right. I actually have to drag it over here. So hydrogen is worth two each. Okay, so probing here isn't a bad deal. Only got two though. Okay, that wasn't a good deal. The naked sun, my poor hull. Well, I'm not doing myself a whole lot of credit here. I'm probably doomed already. Let's go to the yellow dwarf. And skip that. It's hard to change direction faster than light. Sadly, I don't see that huge white space whale in front of me. My engines cut a huge gas gash across its side. I feel awful about it, but its internal fluids flowed over my ship and somehow repaired my hull. What an unpleasant irony. Okay, so... Obviously, gotta be semi-careful here. Might as well get some more oxygen, too. I am bleeding resources. Oh, that that big old stack of iron didn't even fix me up all the way. Note to self, don't go land on, uh... Don't go landing on, on planets now. Or not planets, uh... Stars. It is a bad idea. And I am out of fuel. Land! Check cargo. <laughs> well, I got nothing. Uh... Risk it anyway. Okay. Out of fuel. This is my last entry. My fuel tanks are empty and I have nothing left to produce fuel with. Return to cryostasis and let my ship drift in space. I hope that through the millennia to come, someone will rescue me. But that's a thin hope at best. This is the end of my adventure. 
Yeah. <laughs> Let's try that again. Uh, I am bad at these kinds of things. Resource management is not a uh, strong suit of mine. We could bung it down to... Why don't we bung it down to easy? Let's uh, let's give up. Let's, let's quit out. I'm going to do a new game on easy, at least for the time being. Let's see. So we don't need the tutorial. We do want cemetery gates. I'm going to drop down the difficulty, seeing as it's... Mo I If it cuts down on resource cost... Okay, we can... Can we... There we go. We can skip this. It's like, I'm sure changing difficulty does actually kind of change the challenge here, but like... I don't know. Now, I have not... Ah... I wonder if I can get supply out of the space station. Probably not. I'm going to assume as such. So yeah, it looks like fuel costs are lesser on the lower difficulty. In front of me, there's a huge portal, a perfect ring floating in space. In the ring, a blue force field shines. The words Befesu Lagake Seflik are written on the side. Fly through. Pass through the blue halo. Static electricity tickles my body. Lines of unknown code write themselves across the screen. What's happening? My data's been tampered with. You have lost a technology, Chronix. You have learned a technology, Tau Stasis. You have learned a new technology, Shield Generator. <sighs> Hell yeah. Okay, so what is this? That's the space folder. Reactor. Drill. Hydrogen probe. And a telescope. Okay, so what do I need? If I want to make... I'm curious what Tau Stasis is for. Module alters the flow of time around the ship. Only works when the ship is in the pocket universe created by the space folder. With it, the ship can jump much further. Shield generator protects the hull from atmospheric friction suffered during planetary landings. Oh. Yeah, those are... Those are pretty rad. Rocky planet. Let's check this out. Land on the planet. Planet has... Dunno. I'm just gonna grab those and we're gonna leave. Okay, rich in fuel, risky orbit. Going for it. So... I'm just gonna launch probe 10 fuel. Damn, the extreme atmosphere has broken my probe. Drilling this deep can be hazardous. Okay, so we've gotta repair that, but we did get a bunch of fuel. Which is good, because we desperately need that sort of thing. Okay, so... Repaired that, and... Did I not... Transfer a dang thing. Alright, restart again. Oh, but I had the good stuff. But yeah, I, I was so distracted by the, uh... I was so distracted by the by the damage to my probe, I just I blanked on it. Okay. Managed to produce a few dozen graphene plates. I will write my name and my story on them using as few words as possible. They're very hard to engrave. I have to use a powerful laser. I'll give them as a gift to the aliens I meet, or leave them in a special in special places on empty planets. Who knows, maybe humans will track my course someday. Okay. Or fuel. Okay, so we don't want to probe past seven. And it doesn't seem like it's worth going for a second trip for a lot of these. Okay, so let's get out of here. I'm kind of learning the ropes. I get the very distinct feeling like a lot of these just aren't worth it. Okay, so we've done both of these, and I don't want to go to the Yellow Dwarf, because that's going to get me wrecked. Uh, let's just ping from Yellow Dwarf to Yellow Dwarf. I think I'm going to... Oh, hello. A planet orbits here. Or at least something the size of a planet. I observe the huge structure and discover that it's made of two pyramids attached to the, ba attached to the base. A colossal shape drifting in the cosmos. As I approach, I notice that asteroids and ship debris are orbiting the structure, attracted by some mysterious force. Approach! I set course towards the common base of the two pyramids, where I discover an opening. 
Suddenly, a force takes hold of the ship and draws me closer. I immediately sense danger and set my reactor reactors to full power. The grasping force searches for a handhold, tearing open the cargo bay. I barely managed to escape. At last, I lost most of what I was carrying, but at least I'm alive. Lost two oxygen. Oh, that's that's hardly a detractor. All right, so probably just gonna swing by every every direct gas giant and just continue on. I've noticed that during interstellar travel, my ship doesn't go in a straight line. It's as if there are invisible space highways that allow for the folding of space. If that's true, imagine the power of those who built them. Okay, so we got breathable atmosphere. Should probably check that out. Uh, let's see. We lost a smidge of oxygen, but I might be able to get some more now that I'm thinking about it. And we don't have any new tech. We can make a cryonics, but that's not helpful. So, let's check the garden planet. Breathable atmosphere has allowed me to restore my oxygen supply. Well, dang it. Uh, encounter life. <laughs> Approve. <laughs> the alien doesn't want to talk anymore. You have learned the new word, Swanta. Love. I wonder if that carries over between runs. Probably not. And what can I drill for? I have no idea. Gold, oxygen, and some other junk. Cool. Take off. Now we don't have any more fuel, actually. So, well, we do, but not much. Luckily, we got a pair of gas giants to check out. Okay, I'm going for ten. So, busted our probe... Gave us that. We got a little bit of carbon. I'm gonna drop the carbon. Because I don't know what that is, and it seems useful. What is this? Cocoon. Mysterious cocoon made of stone threads. As I walk over its surface, I can feel its heat. It vibrates like a living being. What will emerge from this strange thing? That I... Sure, why not? And repairing the drill is cheap as heck. Compared to you know, the benefits for sacrificing it. Let me see. So, fuel's looking good. Let's leave this one. Let's go to the next. Probe it again. Disrobe my probe. Okay. Oh, it straight up destroyed the probe. Okay, well, I can make another hydrogen probe. Now, I've also got a bunch of helium. Uh, inventory space sucks. Probably should have actually waited on this one. But I don't have that. Can I? Hmm. Because, yeah, we've got helium and hydrogen. And what I want to do is effectively fuel my engines right now. The gold seems too useful to toss. I'm going to drop the iron for more helium. Fuel seems to be my biggest detractor here. Might as well clear out some resources. Okay, so oxygen also looks like it might be a big, bit of an issue. Oh, what's this? Abandoned ship. Show cargo. Oh. It's my old ship. Okay. We might as well dismantle a bunch of these. Let's see. I'm assuming almost all of this stuff is meaningless here. Yeah, we got more iron, no more oxygen. Did get a little bit more platinum, which is nice. Topped off my... Yeah, I think this is fine. Okay. 
so we want to go back. Probably back again. Do we keep checking black hole? Uh, do we check out black holes? Oh, wait, no, that's a yellow dwarf. Oh, no, there is a black hole here. The black god. Huh. I... Okay, well, do we just go in it? Do we, for science, the... Well, we're already here. Dangerous atmosphere. Go figure! Tally-ho! I have orbited a black hole. It seems like there's nothing here. So, I guess let's just go to the blue giants. Maybe there's other things. I mean, it looks cool. I'll give it that. I'm working on my alien right now. I don't have any notebook to write in, and fiddling with the computer doesn't help me decipher these strange glyphs. So I wrote on the walls with a piece of burnt carbon. Yes, like a caveman, but hey, I live in a sort of cave anyway. So gas giant, gas giant, gas giant, and blue giant. Well, my fuel situation's actually doing pretty good. Sort of. It's oxygen that's a bit on the dodgier side. Let's see, so black hole, black hole, blue giant, bl yellow dwarf, red dwarf. Yeah, a lot of black holes along the way here. I guess let's just go to this blue giant. When I dropped out of light speed, I found myself directly on course for a small moon. There's no way to change course fast enough. But I didn't hit it, I went straight through it. It was a giant ball of liquid helium. I rocketed it back around into its orbit and siphoned off more fuel than I could ever use. That was some good luck. That's some good luck. It didn't actually put any into my storage though, but it's nice. So it does look like uh, scavenging might not be as immediately helpful. You know, sometimes it's actually best to just travel. Iron termites. Yes, I know how crazy that sounds. I've dug holes all over the ship. I had to drown them in liquid nitrogen to get rid of them. A lot of devices are out of order, and one of them bit me. It was unpleasant. I hate everything. Okay, reactor has been destroyed. You've gathered iron, and things need... Well, this? But, uh, let's see. At least I can craft another reactor, no problem. Okay, so what do we got here? Rich in fuel, risky orbit. Uh, thing is, we need more oxygen. We need more uh, oxygen more than anything else. So we got another black hole, another black hole, another black hole, black hole. Everything is a black hole. Well, we're going this way. I don't really know if there's a reason to check out black holes as I currently am. I see a capsule, a large capsule resembling a cargo compartment of a vessel. It spins around the star like a comet on a distant and eccentric orbit. I grab it with a probe and go out in space to examine it. Well, it's locked and heavily armored. A cosmic safe? Technology seems to be very advanced, so I guess my soldering iron will be useless here. In the front of the capsule, I see buttons representing all known geom geometric forms. Circle, star, ring, square. Shall I try and guess the combination? Huh. 81. I wonder if I can look this one up or if it's randomly generated. I'm going to use internet hacks. Look, Google still works out here. Don't question it. Uh, let's see. We're looking for Cosmic Safe. Cosmic Safe! Okay, yeah, it looks like it's predetermined. So, uh, rectangle and disc buttons. Capsule is a cylinder. Its proje projection on a plane is either a rectangle or a disc. Oh, that makes perfect sense. Press these buttons and the locks open, revealing its contents. An energy cell that envelops my ship in a flash, leaving me blind for a moment. In a few minutes, my visual sense is back to normal, and I return run to my ship, panic-stricken. Oh, I should have panicked. 
Cell just repaired my ship and nothing more. The capsule is some kind of space rescue kit. Hey, that was worth. Okay, so honestly, can you just keep going, I guess. Yellow Dwarf, Red Giant, I don't know, let's go to the Yellow Dwarf. Come across a small moon orbiting a gas giant. It has a low oxygen atmosphere, but it's enough to fill my supply tanks. I touch down and start up the pumps. Small lizard-like creatures are watching me. Whole colony of them starting to throw rocks at me. Hey, take it easy. Easy, guys, I'm a friend. Wait. At a loss, I gesture emphatically to quiet them down. No doing. I'm strand. I'm... stand there? I stand there in a shower of rocks. My ship's hull will withstand the onslaught. I'm sure, with only a little damage. I just wish they'd realize I don't mean any harm. I take off with a roar. Perhaps future generations will understand. Well, we might as well head for the neutron star. We seem to be getting a lot of positive effects here, so I might as well rush it as fast as I can. I dreamt of a labyrinth and drew it on the ground with a piece of burnt carbon. Then I stepped away and I understood it was a circuit diagram. Circuit diagram of the mas master computer. Never seen it before. Do you think the ship's trying to communicate with me? Oh, we got an abandoned ship? Hello! Show cargo? It's a bigger ship than I got. Show cargo. Transfer all. Take over the ship. Show cargo? Wait, this is just Samus's ship. I believe. Oh. Okay, there we go. Nothing left in this one. I think he could almost salvage the whole ship. Okay, so we've got the probe. We've got the reactor, we've got the drill. What am I missing? Telescope. Now, this is absolutely just Samus' sh ship. Well, the ecosystem seems like it's better. Resistance, power? I'm uh, sure? Okay, what else do we have? Rich in fuel, rich in metallic ore. Well, I'm doing fine, so I'm just gonna keep kind of pushing it. Be kind of neat if you could just start with this ship. Not even any fancy dialogue for this. Ship took a wrong turn and I was subjected to a blast of gamma rays. Did a quick checkup on my onboard equipment. I'm okay. Well, I made to develop cancer in a couple of years, but right now I'll be happy if I survive to the end of the next month. Rocky planet, rocky planet, gas giant. Pretty much nothing I'm immediately gunning for. I've still got a stock of fuel, yeah? Not as much as I had previously, but I'm going to let that run out instead of trying to immediately start mining for resources. Work in space and experience adventures. You wouldn't want to live your life behind a desk now, would you? You need space, my boy. Yippee. Uh, plenty of space now. An enormous 18 meters squared. Another abandoned ship? Searching around the star, I discovered an abandoned ship. A meteorite has pierced... A gaping hole in the hull. Its inhabitants are all sucked away. They drift around the ship. But... It's so horrible, but... Thousands of dead humans floating around the ship. This means that while I was sleeping, my people have conquered the stars. Finally, we can be reunited. Agitated, I search through the databases, but everything is written in an obsolete language I barely understand. All I can learn was that they have fled from a terrible enemy. And that they are going to an isolated system, hoping to find a habitable planet. I found the system's coordinates. These people are still alive. I could. <laughs> Boy, that's gonna take a while. Okay, so this thing is mucked up, but wait, hold on. Ah. What is this? Ansible detects if a star system is inhabited by alien space fleets. Very useful finding to keep a low profile. Superconductor. If it wasn't so bunged up and I actually had the resources to clear it out, I would absolutely roll with this thing. 
as it stands, I think I'm gonna have to do the the horrible thing. Kind of wish you could actually like take the take the bits. Okay, so what is this resource? Tungsten. Ah, gotcha. Well, we also have okay, some cobalt. I'm going to give up the iron in favor of some tungsten. I think I've unlocked this ship too, but we'll have to leave it for later. Oh, uh, let's see. Check for fuel. Let's see. Rich in fuel, breathable atmosphere, rich in fuel. Might as well grab this. Probe. Let's just do seven. And what do we get rid of? As monstrous as it is, by humans. Cold heart. <laughs> Woo! I mean, I still have some of them. I'm not like a complete monster. I have quite a lot of them. They're gonna wake up and be like, you got like almost all of us. What's going on here? Wait, did I already get- oh, we already got this abandoned ship. We'll be like, so, uh, you got, like, almost all of us, but what happened to Jerry? Uh... <laughs> uh... Yeah, where's our families? Uh... <laughs> I was struck by a flash of gamma rays that could e kill even the hardiest astronaut. It smelled like grilled meat, but somehow I survived. I don't know, I think it erased a couple of computer entries. But since they're gone, I don't know which ones. Lost cryonics. Oh, well, that sucks. Kinda. I guess let's keep going to the Red Giants. I mean, I'm just gonna kinda go speed. We have unlocked this. A ship approaches a huge and strange beacon. It's really alien, very different from anything I've ever seen before. Words appear on my computer screen. Words in my own language. Man from Earth, we are watching you. Your journey is about more than your mere existence. Survive, and we shall open the way to your eternal quest. Come to <laughs> Prisma. There you shall find the answers you seek. You've learned the technology subspace reactor. And... Well, that's kind of a little closer. Is there where to, like, zoom out? I guess I can, like, pan around. Even, like, getting to some of these is rough. Well, let's see. Move that over here. So what's a subspace reactor? Requires resources I can't use. Reduces the amount of fuel necessary to travel. Okay. So, very worth it, but we need a lot more hoof than I have. Can I go here? No. Guess let's just keep going. I'm gonna have to stop for fuel soon. First everything went red, then black. That's when I realized that oxygen was filling up the cabin. Blind and almost unconscious, I quickly put on my spacesuit and waited. When I came to my senses, I found the problem. Breaking the oxygen line. I lost a lot of air, but at least I survived. Which, like, honestly is not that big of a deal for me. Okay, so... Fuel start to look dicey again. Helium is worth a lot. Okay. Well, can't do anything on this planet. We can go to the supernova, but I think the supernova might have something interesting. We'll see. When I switched on the space folder, my ship was peppered by micro uh, a micrometeorite storm. I contained the leaks with a little tinkering, but I lost a lot of fuel. That sucks. Okay, we got a gas giant. And we're pretty much going full Nelson on this one. Okay, wrecked the probe. Gathered the platinum. Uh, let's see. Let's just transfer all, and then I'll figure, figure everything else out. 
Okay, uh, let's see. I can pretty much take all of this. We'll hold on to the helium. I gotta remake the probe. At least we got the platinum back. That's the main worry. Uh, let's see. Got a little bit of iron. And I don't have any oxygen, but that's fine because we barely even burn this stuff. So, red dwarf, red dwarf. I guess we might as well head over here. I, I'm i surprised I'm going as long as I am. I was kind of expecting that this would go badly on my end, but I guess not. I've escaped death far too often. It's an old friend now. So... I don't really see the need to stop for some more fuel. So let's just keep going. Grown younger, I touched the alloy in the space folder and my hand was purged of all sign of middle age. I was a very young man, unchanged by the flow of life. Can I not go to that supernova? That's a problem. My imaginary me and I had a long talk today. He told me about a summer evening I spent on a beach with friends. It was a campfire. One of them had a guitar. It's something that makes music. I say this because when he told me about the guitar, I did not understand him. I thought he was speaking alien. And then he explained to me at length what a guitar was, and I finally remembered. Okay, so fuel's looking dicey again. Probably go blasto the, uh... Blasto the probe again? Uh, maybe just shy of Blasto. Let's do seven. Wrecked my probe anyway. Okay, well, at least it gives me a stack of hydrogen that I can just use. We'll just make another hydrogen probe. And we gotta go drilling for some ore. Probably should actually go drilling a little bit more often. It actually looks like it was kind of worth it. Uh, do we go to the supernova? Yeah, might as well go to this one. It's a little bit further. The gravitational waves in this area have played havoc on my equipment. I fiddled around and some of it's working again, but the rest of it is completely out of order. What a mess. Well, that's bad. No. No, it just takes iron. We're good. And we're gonna have to stop for fuel again. We still haven't found any HF. Well, we've got a rocky planet rich in metallic ore. Do we stop for it? I don't have a whole lot of fuel here. Probably the next one. Go to the red giant? Sure. I saw something extraordinary. Landed on a small, barely discernible planet orbiting at an, at an ideal distance from the star. Plants, purple colored and very tall, water, oddly orange, and life. Tiny creatures living in tiny villages built with tiny stones. They flock around me, trembling. Is it a dance? Do they take me for a god? Am I here to change their life? Interact. I sit down to adjust to their size and try to communicate with them. Pretty hard, because in addition to cultural, racial, and language barriers, they seem to simply be stupid. Driven mostly by instincts rather than understanding. I try to draw symbols on the ground near the tallest creature. This is hopeless. Too little progress in too much time. I have to leave. Farewell, tiny aliens. You have learned a new word. Ma'am! You've also learned another word. <laughs> Star. Well, this game's kind of cool. Let's go for like another episode. At least let's get to an, uh, uh, a good stopping point, either an objective or my inevitable burning demise. I don't know. Anyway, see you guys in the next episode of Out There Omega the Alliance. And as always, thanks for watching.